On the matter of MH17 flight path, I would like to refer to recent reported comments by officials from Eurocontrol, the body which approved European flights path under ICAO rules. According to the Wall Street Journal, the officials stated that some 400 commercial flights, including 150 international flights, crossed eastern Ukraine daily before the crash. Officials from Eurocontrol also stated that in the two days before the incident, 75 different airlines flew the same route as MH17. MH17's flight path was a busy major airways, like a highway in the sky. It followed a route which was set out by the international aviation authorities, approved by Eurocontrol, and used by hundreds of other aircraft. It flew at an altitude set and deemed safe by the local air traffic control, and it never strayed into restricted airspace. The flight and its operators followed the rules, but on the ground, the rules of war were broken in an, up, in an up, unacceptable act of aggression it appears that MH17 was shot down, its passengers and crew killed by a missile. Uh, first, I must mention that uh, the areas, the flight, uh, we were supposed to fly at uh, 35,000 feet, but the air control tower asked us to fly at 33,000 feet. So I think we have to obey the control tower uh, directive, and that is the decision and always within that kind of airspace uh, that is under the air control tower uh, jurisdiction. First and foremost, Qu uh, Qantas doesn't fly that route, right? Because <coughs> um, they fly to Europe via Dubai. They have one flight there. Correct. And Korean airline, it will be non-economical for them to fly that route because it's a Direct is a, is a going south and going back to Korea. There are other airlines which correct, have correct. avoid it as well. Correct. Those decisions are made um, based on threat analysis of each individual airline. <laughs> right? For Malaysia Airlines, our threat analysis says it is safe. So you conducted your own threat analysis? All airlines conduct their own threat analysis. And it was safe? Yes. And what about the Malaysian government? Yeah, more importantly, we are also guided by the IQO. We are guided also by the country concerned. The authority in every, every state uh, will advise uh, the Malaysian government. So as far as we are concerned, we abide by the international rules.